Hey guys, I'm Veronica V, and I am here with Aaron Chambers, also known as AC from Twitch, and I'm going to be asking him a couple of questions of Rise of Incarnates. So Aaron, given your experience in the industry, how would you rank this game among the online co-op games? Honestly, I'd put Rise of Incarnates kind of in a category of its own, and that's for a number of reasons. It does fall under the free-to-play category, obviously, very big across all genres. And that's kind of what makes me move it off to the side and put it on its own, is it really is kind of in a genre of its own. I mean, you have this arena-style combat, it's two versus two, the, um, the general camera viewpoint, the way the battle is conducted, makes it a really unique product in a lot of ways, because it's not just two people that are out trying to do as much damage as possible. You have mechanics like combo potential, you know, being able to break up the combos of, of uh, your enemies in order to save your teammate. The way that it just fits into things is, it doesn't. It doesn't really just fit in anywhere other than by itself on a very, very high plateau. I mean, whenever you take all of these elements and package it into a free product, which, let's be honest, a lot of times it's free, you get, you get what you pay for, right? I mean, it's not always the highest quality. That is 100% the opposite of what we see with Rise of Incarnates. I spent time with it, I enjoyed it, but what makes me excited about it for Bandai Namco is when I see professional gamers, as I mentioned, wanting more and more turns on it, wanting to sit and play well after teardown, well after they, you know, they were scheduled to be somewhere else. They just want to keep playing. If those guys want to play, I got a feeling a lot of people at home are going to want to play too. What does Bandai Namco bring to the free-to-play scene? Well, I've had a chance to work with Bandai Namco a number of times now. Uh, met a lot of their team members. They actually have an entire subdivision of their company dedicated to cracking into this and talking to them and getting to know them and working on events and working with various games. Supernova, also another title that is actually getting closer and closer to beta now, so everyone should keep an eye on that because I'm really intrigued by it. But what I've really gleaned from them, and this is not just you know me reading a press release, this is talking to these guys after events, having beers with them, is they don't just want to come into the free-to-play scene and make money. Certainly, money's nice. They want to come in and they want to do it in a way that gets attention the right way. Awesome. Well, Aaron, thank you so much. Thank you. You are awesome. And yeah, I'm looking forward to play this game. Yep. Maybe, I'll, maybe you'll be on my, my team. We'll, I hope so. We'll see.